10% of those 30, 310,000, 31,000 people in the whole country are considered fiduciaries. That's the F word. Fidu all, fiduciary. Fiduciary. Say it you with got me. It. You got it, and <laughs> I got it. So let me clarify. What it means is there, these people are under the law required to put your needs ahead of their own. Now, if you go to Australia, the UK, most countries in the world, not only are doctors and lawyers fiduciaries, just like our country, that lawyer has to put you first. That doctor has to put your needs ahead of their own. Mm -hmm. They can't order tests just to add up fees for themselves. And if they do, there's severe consequences. Okay. We're the only country like that in America because of the financial lobby. They're not fiduciaries. You have to decide to be a fiduciary. And if you do, they're called RIAs, Registered Investment Advisors or Fiduciaries. And so if they tell you to buy Apple this morning, and they buy Apple tonight and they get a better price, they have to give you their stock. That's how strong the law is. That is not true for any broker. But then I found something else out, and that is out of the 31,000 people that have to put you first, 26,000 of them are duly registered, which means they're a broker and a fiduciary. So if you say, are you a fiduciary? They'll say, yeah, I'm just here. I'm gonna just guide you. I'm not gonna sell you anything I benefit from, but in the middle of the conversation, they put on a new hat and they sell you a product that they get a big commission on after they said that they're here just to give you advice. It's like if you went to a butcher and said, what should I eat? You know he's gonna sell you meat. That's what he sells. If you go to a dietitian, and, and the butcher's a good guy. He probably eats the same meat. He's probably fat and in trouble too, right? <laughs> But if you go to a dietitian, you're not paying them to sell you anything. You're paying them to be independent, registered investment advisors and independent advisor. And so what they're going to do is they're going to go, wait a second, too much of that meat, you're going to get cancer. We need some salad. We need some veggies. We need a little fish here. And they're not being incentivized to sell you anything, right? They just get a, a fee for what they do. That's the person you want. There's only 5,000 in the entire United States out of 310,000, 1.6%. That's why most people get screwed. And here's what you got to know. You hear numbers like 1%, 2%, 3%, sounds like nothing. But compounding. You got it. <laughs> <laughs>